Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is this is my first presentation ever in like tech conferences. Uh, hi, my name is Artit. You can call me back uh, uh, on on Twitter at BACT. So um yeah, as it say, I'm going to talk about like how to if you have like sequences, it can be text, it can be DNA, it can be whatever, and if you like to label it right uh. There's a tons of actually library in Python that can help you to do that like easily, right? Um, not uh, like mathematicians. I'm very bad at math. I got C in calculus and like Illini algebra in my like school. So I mean, if I can do it, everybody can do it basically, right? Uh, you can look at my kind of like a, it's it's kind of like a Jupyter notebook, but it's like chair or like like provide by uh, it's a Google service. It's called Collab, right? So if you go to the first URL, you can see all the codes that I'm going to show, uh, like soon. So basically, this is well, I'm sorry, this is in our uh, like Thai and English combined together, whatever. Uh, so let's say we we have these like sequences, right? Like that sequence, <laughs> uh, and and we like to do some labeling, right? So 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 the sequences like those, for example, this is like characters, like text. Uh, in black, right, characters, and you need, uh, and you like to put like labels, right, which is like in, in, in red, right, for example, like what boundaries, right, this is like one word, this is another word, this is another another word, and this another word, and that's like, two other words, right, so that's kind of uh, uh, one kind of labels, or you can have like another kind of labels, we call it like, like in NLP, we call it like, name entities, right, so, so for example, right, you, you, you have you have a sentence say that like, uh, like a long journey, probably like to a uh, pie con, like everywhere in the world, something like that. So you like to like mark this pie con as an event, for example, right? Uh, how to do that, right? How to put these labels, right? Like little labels to this like sequence of characters. Uh, one of the way to doing it, right? Three minutes, <laughs> three minutes. It's like, like uh, if if you have like enough training data, right? You put this like data, right? Or uh, like, like whatever, like in this library, and and tell like, okay, let's learn from this data, basically, like so. So I think like uh, basically the, the the only things I think like there's only two things. Well, there's only two things that you have to thinking about, right? If you have or already have like this like Python li library, right? And and the training data, maybe the data is like you have to think first about like uh, what kind of labels. That you can put there, right? For example, like in uh, if you if you like to do the word boundaries, right? You think of like two kind of labels, right? One is like, okay, can this character uh, be a character at the beginning of the word or not, right? If it can be uh, at the beginning of word, you put uh, like uh, if if it's actually at the beginning of word, you put the label B, right, as a beginning of word, right? If it's not, right, it's actually inside the word, right? You put the label I, right? So this is like training data, right? So so the first thing that you have to thinking uh, about is like, you, you think about like what kind of labels you're going to have. Like, so in this case, right, there's only two kinds of labels, beginning of the word or inside the word, right? Uh, this is actually depends on your problems actually, like, of course. The second thing you have to think about is like the features, what kind of features you're going to put like you to, uh, to tell the machine, like to looking for, right? In this case, like uh, with some Thai linguistics, like, like knowledge, right? Some like domain knowledge, you can say like, okay, you know that like this character, for example, right? No, no, right? Uh, it's a character. This one is wow. Uh, this is another kind of wow that like, uh, it can begin uh, like a consonant, for example, right? So this is kind of like a, like a type of character, and you can put like all the features, like okay, what is the previous character? What is the next character? Does it's like according according to the dictionary? Does it possible for this character, right, to begin uh, the the uh, the word, for example, right? So, for example, this sequence, right? So like a do de so like no no, right? Uh, uh, this can begin. Uh, 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 this can form a word, right? As a word, "dern" walk, right? But this as well can form another word, "din," which is like earth, something like that, right? Soy, things like that. So, so you mark it's like okay, this, uh, this right? That character can begin a word, and this also can begin a word as well, according to the dictionary that we have. So you can, you can put whatever features that you like, right? Okay, and 
the course is here. And I have only like 20 seconds. Uh, very easy, right? You just like import, right? Just, just import everything, right? Python has it for you, right? Uh, I use the uh, Python uh, CF, uh, CIF suite, right? And the thing that we do is like, okay, I read the dictionary in, right? I create some, uh, I uh, pull in like uh, files for training data, which looks like this, right? You have like some training data with the labels, whatever, thumbs up, uh, running, running. And boop, 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 whatever, right? So you, and, and you and you define the character types, right? This is this is the character type that I I uh, I use, right? That show in the last slide, and bang, Okay, at the last line, right? Python do that for you, right? So, uh, they label some sequence for you. So I put this sentence in, and they tokenize it, right? Put the word boundaries for that. And this is only from uh, 12 uh, text files as a training data. So I'm going to end here and saying that, like, why this is actually not really like a deep learning, whatever techniques are like, so trendy now today, right? But it's, where is that? I'm going to end soon. OK. So it's, it's not that really trendy as uh, the training, right? But like, this is kind of like a, a proof, kind of say a technique that like, a lot of like, leading uh, NLP packages uh, now that they actually use. Uh, and it can give, give you a good results with a uh, small training data, right? If you can come up with good features, right? So if you have already have some domain knowledge, I think like uh, CIF is a uh, kind of way that you can go. And I think like, that's it. That's it. Thank you. Okay.